Hi, I'm Debbie Ellickson. This jar of peanut butter is really the first peanut butter I've ever bought being in the US. It is nothing like the peanut butter I'm used to in Canada. Ironically, it's made by the same company and the, the peanut butter that we enjoy in Canada is not available here. It was kind of a shock, particularly when the same, it's the same manufacturer. That said, there are a lot of other aspects about uh, some manufacturers where they develop the same product for both countries, but in each country there are different ingredients. And I can think of one in particular where it calls for cheese in its ingredient. And it actually has real cheese in the ingredients in Canada, but it does not even have anything remotely close to cheese in the products down in the US. So it's interesting to me to hear the story behind that. So from a, a storytelling perspective, we can make a story up, uh, a fiction story up, as to what maybe think about the person who makes that decision with the company on uh, what ingredients to put in each country. It could go to say maybe somebody with the FDA and maybe there's a hidden plot in the FDA to, you know, maybe not have their citizens so healthy. You could make up all sorts of scenarios surrounding the idea of just one jar of peanut butter. And by the way, I had one taste of this peanut butter and now this peanut butter actually serves a real good purpose because I use it as a um, a stopper literally to put a plug on the shower drain so that the water cockroaches don't crawl up. So there you have it. But taking different kinds of story ideas, so you can take that one jar and look at all the people that go into making that jar of peanut butter and all the decisions that go to, into it to flush out an angle of a different story. You can make hundreds of stories right off the bat just using that angle. For Transmedia Storytelling, till next time.